welcome to services marketing and now we will talk about the module 30. So, we have covered the first three section of this course on services marketing. The fourth section is on developing customer relationships and the three modules that is module 30, 31 and 32 will cover managing relationships and building loyalty. So, let us look at what we will talk about in managing relationships and building loyalty that is module 30. So, we will recognize the important role customer loyalty plays in driving a service firm's profitability. So, this customer loyalty is, is, is obviously the most important, most important thing that every business try to have because that affects the, uh, the firm's profitability. The second is we will try to calculate the lifetime value of a loyal customer and understand why customers are loyal to a particular service firms. To know the core strategies of the wheel of loyalty that explains how to develop a loyal customer base and to appreciate why it is so important for service firms to target the right customers. So, it the targeting of right customers is important for all kind of businesses. But, but it is much more important for a service company, service business to target the right kind of customers. So, let us start. Targeting, acquiring and retaining the right customer is at the core of many successful service firms. Targeting, acquiring and retaining. So, first is that you are able to target, then acquire and also retain. So, in this module we emphasize the importance of focusing on desirable loyal customers within the chosen segments and how to build and maintain their loyalty through well conceived relationship marketing strategies. So, we will focus on desirable and loyal customers. So, every loyal customer may not be desirable, every desirable customer may not be loyal. So, uh, so we will uh, we, we will have to look uh, look at those people from a chosen segment which are who are desirable as, as well as loyal and how to build and maintain their loyalty. And for that we have some well conceived relationship marketing strategies. The objective is to build relationships and to develop loyal customers who will contribute to the growing volume of business with the firm in future. So, that is the objective to build relationships to develop loyal customers so that they contribute to the growing volume of business within the firm. Loyalty in business context is a customer's willingness to continue patronizing a firm over the long run. So, one, one thing that is, the, uh, that is required for loyalty, the first thing is that, that the customer should be willing to patronize to keep on buying from, uh, from the service firm. The second is they should not buy from anybody else, but preferably as on an ex uh, exclusive basis from this company only. So, first is that they should continue to buy from this firm. The second is from exclusively this firm only and not somebody else. And the third is they should also recommend the firm's product to their friends and associates. So, these are the three important things that uh, the service companies they want to achieve so far as customer loyalty is concerned. So, customer loyalty extends beyond purchasing, uh, purchasing behavior and includes preference, liking and future intention. So, it is not only about the current purchase. So, loyalty, customer loyalty whether in case of services or in case of products, it is not about the current purchase, but it is also about their preference for a particular brand over other brands, liking for that, that brands and their future intentions to purchase the same brand. In a marketing context, context the term defection is used to describe customers who drop off a company's radar screen and transfer their purchases to another, another supplier. So, the defection here is that the customers they leave this company and they start buying from another company. Now, you also keep in mind that there are three situations. One is that the customer buys from this company and no other company. Another time is he buys from this company and other companies also. And the third case is he buy from other companies only. 
and not this company. So, these are the three situations and we call a defection as someone who, who has shifted and he is buying from some, somebody else and not us. Not only does a rising defection rate indicate that, that something is wrong with quality or that competitors offer better value, it may also be signi signaling a fall in profits. So, when the customer defects, so that is one indicator that your profits will decrease in times to come. Big customers do not necessarily disappear overnight, they often may signal their mounting dissatisfaction, but steadily reducing their purchases and shifting part of their business elsewhere. So, these big customers who were maybe loyal sometimes, they were buying from this company only. Now, they have started doing the second option that is they are buying from this company, but then they, ha they, are all, they have also started buying from some, somebody else. So, that fall in business is also important for companies to understand whether this uh, big customer is buying everything, everything from us or from our competitors also. Why is customer loyalty so important to a firm's profitability? In a classic study, Reshield uh, and Cesar analyzed the profits per customer in different service businesses as categorized by the number of years that a customer had been with the firm. They found that the longer customers remained with the firm in each of these industries, the more profitable they become. So, the longer the customers are there, the more profitable they are. So, it means that profitability uh, will increase over a period of time. Annual profit increase per customers, which have been indexed over a five, five year period for easier comparison are summarized in figure that will come up in the next slide for a few sample industries. So, this is why is customer loyalty so important to the firm's profitability. On x axis we have the time and this is the profit index. This yellow is industrial laundry, this blue is credit card, pink is auto servicing and green is industrial distribution. Now, it shows how much profit a customer generates over time. So, now you see that the profits are steadily increasing across the years from 1 to year 5, but where they are the highest. So, you see that maybe in, in credit card the profits are higher as the customer is loyal for a longer period of time. So, in the first year the profit may be less, but now you see in the fifth year this profit has increased so much and it is followed by auto servicing. So, in the first year obviously, the profits may be low, but then as the customer become more comfortable with the company, they keep on visiting the company more often. So, the profits keeps on increasing. Why is customer so important, customer loyalty so important to a firm's profitability? So, factors that work to create incremental profits. So, incremental profits, increment, uh, increased profits every year over the period of time. So, profits derived from increased purchases. So, because the customers who are loyal, they will purchase more. So, the profits also will increase. The second is profits from reduced customer service cost. Now, the company knows about this customer and therefore, it becomes easier and less costly for the company to service this customers. So, at the one, one hand, the profits are increasing and on the other hand, the cost so, of servicing this customer are decreasing. Then the profits from referral to other customers, because he is a loyal customer, he has also referred your brand to somebody else and that also has contributed to the increased profit. Profits from lower price sensi sensitivity that allows a price premium and the because the customer is loyal, therefore, the price sensitivity is, uh, is lower and that allows for higher price premiums. And this acquisition cost can be amortized over a longer period. So, if you keep on acquiring new customers all the time, then this cost of acquisition is amortized over shorter periods. But when you have, lo uh, you have loyal customers, this cost of acquisition is amortized over longer periods of time. So, now why this customer are profitable over time? Uh, this uh, orange is profits from price premium green is profits from references, pink is profit, profit from reduced operating cost and yellow is profit from increased usage and 
uh, this blue is the base profit. So, as we move from one year to seventh year, you see that the profits they are increasing. So, initially the company was at a loss, but then slowly it, it goes up and now you see that that profits for every component they are increasing. So, the base profits may still remain the same, but profits from increased usage, then profits from reduced operating cost, the profits from references and you see the profits from price premium, they are all increasing. So, that is the benefit, that is the, the advantage of having a loyal customers. Now, how to go about assessing the value of a loyal customer? It is a challenging task to determine the cost and revenues associated with serving customers to different market segments at different points in their customer life cycles and to predict future profitability. Profit impact of a customer may vary dramatically depending on the stage of the service product life cycle. So, the profits will increase or decrease depending upon this life cycle. For instance, referrals by satisfied customers and negative word of mouth from defected customers have a much greater effect on, prof on profit. So, it is important the referrals from satisfied customers and the negative word of mouth from defected customers. So, in early stages of service products life cycle, when the name of the game is acquisition of new customers. So, as the company as any company introduces uh, a, a new product or service, so the focus is always on acquisition of customers. Then in later stages where, where the focus is more on generating cash flows from existing customer base, so then comes retention. Retention of existing customers and generating the cash flows. Finally, it is a mistake to assume that loyal customers are always more profitable than those who may come uh, may make one time transaction. Finally, it is a mistake to assume that loyal customers are always more profitable than those who make one time transaction. So, on the cost side not all type of service incur heavy promotional expenditures to attract a new customer. So, it may be that over a period of time these loyal customers the profitability of these loyal customers it is decreasing. And maybe on the cost side not all types of services incur heavy promotional expenditure to attract a new customer. So, sometimes it is important to invest in a good retail location that will attract walk in traffic that will attract the first time customers. So, the customers will keep on coming in. Unlike banks, insurance companies and other membership organization that incur costs for review of applications and account setup, many service firms face no such cost when a new customer first seeks to make a purchase. On the revenue side, loyal customers may not spend more than one time buyers and in some instances they may even expect price discounts because they, they say that they are loyal, they have been coming to the, the same company uh, every time, so they, they want more discounts. Finally, profits do not necessarily increase by with time for all types of customers. So, let us look at this one. In most mass market business to business, business to customer services such as banking, mobile phone services or hospitality customer cannot negotiate prices. In this, in many B 2 B context, large customers have, a, had a, have a lot of bargaining power and therefore, will nearly always try to negotiate lower prices when contracts come up for renewal. So, in this B 2 B context, when the customers are, are, are big, so they will keep on negotiating the prices and this forces the suppliers to share saving result uh, resulting from doing business with a large loyal customer. For instance, DHL has found that although each of its major accounts generate significant business, they yield below average margins. So, 
now you see that these are the major accounts they generate lots of businesses but the margins are not according to the average in contrast dhl's smaller less powerful accounts provide significantly higher profitability so the big accounts they uh, big accounts the major accounts they contribute to the business but not to the profits the smaller accounts they do they may not contribute to the business but they definitely continue uh, contribute to the profits so the as as uh, dhl price differently for different market segments let us look at the gap between the actual and potential customer value analysis of the following gaps between the actual and potential value of the customer is needed the first is what is the current purchasing behavior of customers in each target segment so the first thing that needs to be analyzed in analyze is what is the uh, current uh, purchasing behavior of the customers and second is what would be the impact on sales and profit if they exhibited the ideal behavior profile of buying all services offered by the firm using these to the exclusion of any purchases from the competitors and paying the full price on average how long do customers remain with the firm and what impact would it have if they remained customer for life so as we have uh, talked about earlier the profitability of a customer often increases over time so the uh, longer he is uh, keeps on purchasing from this company the more uh, profits he generates so management task is to design and implement marketing programs that increases loyalty because if the customer is loyal then obviously the profit that he generates will increase so that includes share of wallet upselling and cross selling and identify the reasons why customer defect and then take corrective actions the active management of the customer base and customer loyalty is also referred as customer asset management now let us look at why the customers are loyal so for, uh, we have till now discussed that why it is important for the, for the company to have customer uh, loyal customers how they contribute to businesses or and uh, to the profits but now let us look at why are customers loyal customers are not automatically loyal to any one firm rather we need to give our customers a reason to consolidate their buying with us and then stay with us so customers will not automatically become loyal but there should be a reason and this company should give the reason for them to uh, to uh, become and remain loyal we need to create value for them to become and remain loyal relationships can create value for individual customers through factors such as first they should be able to inspire greater confidence second is of by offering them social benefits and the third is by providing them with special treatment so these are the things that uh, are required for creating relationships now this is the wheel of loyalty of the customer's loyalty as you can see at the center is the customer loyalty the first thing that needs to be done is to build a foundation for loyalty the second is then create loyalty bonds and then that will lead to the third thing that is reduce the churn drivers so now let us start with this one the the first one building a loyal a foundation for loyalty segment the market to match customers needs and the firm capabilities so you uh, segment the market uh, to match the customer needs and also according to whether the firm has the, that capability or not be selective acquire customers who fit the core value proposition that is why this uh, this uh, targeting the right customers is more important in service companies manage the customer base via effective tiering of service and then deliver quality service after building on this foundation for loyalty then uh, then let us move on to the second thing that that is create loyalty bonds so let us talk about the uh, deep uh, deepen the relationship via cross selling and bundling then giving them loyalty rewards for example financial rewards non financial rewards higher tier service levels recognition and appreciation and then build high level bonds that are the social bonds customization bonds and structural bonds the third thing is then this reduce these first and second will reduce the churn drivers 
conduct churn diagnostics and monitor declining and churning customers, address key churn drivers for example, proactive retention measures, reactive retention measures, put effective complaint handling and service recovery processes in place and increase the switching cost for the customer. So, that is enabled through the frontline staff, accounts managers, membership programs and CRM system and that will that and this uh, then the wheel this this wheel will will keep on moving. So, this wheel of loyalty is for building a foundation for loyalty. The first is to target the right customers. Loyalty management starts with segmenting the market to match customer needs and firms capabilities. Who should we be serving is a question that every service business need to raise periodically. Who should we be serving? So, that is a very important question and that will keep on coming up periodically and it, ne it needs to be answered periodically. Not all customers offer a good fit with the organization capabilities, delivering technologies and strategic, strategic directions. So, the answer to this who should we be serving will keep on changing because these customers or the customers today's customer they may no, no longer be a good fit with the organization capabilities tomorrow. The company may have acquired new delivery technologies or strategic directions. So, the segments that they are targeting may change. So, it is important to keep in mind that what are whether the target segments they are they are a good fit with organizational capabilities, the delivery technologies that it, it has and its strategic direction. Companies need to be selective about segments they target if they want to build successful customer relationships and managers must think carefully about first how customer needs relate to operational elements such as speed and quality and the physical features and appearance of service facility. So, managers they, sh they, they should think about uh, this and then they should also think about how well their service personnel can meet the expectations of a specific type of customers in terms of both personal style and technical competence, whether they have this kind of personal style or technical competence or not. Acquiring the right customer often brings long term revenues and continued growth from referral. So, that is why these right customers are even more important because they bring long term revenues from themselves and the continued growth from referral. It also enhances employee satisfaction whose daily jobs are improved when they can deal with appreciative customers and then because they are dealing with the same customers. Uh, on a regular basis, it is easier for them to identify those their customers needs and deliver on those needs effectively. Attracting the wrong customer typically results in costly churn, a diminished company reputation and disillusioned employee. So, every time the employees will have to uh, will, uh, will have to service new customers. So, you there is next thing that is important to be done is to search for value not just volume. Many service firms continue to focus on the number of customers they serve without giving sufficient attention to the value of each customer. So, that is what is important that is what that is why we keep on talking about customer lifetime value. It is not the uh, uh, about the number of the customers, but the value of each customer. For example, Starwood hotels and resorts found that their top 2 percent of guests generated a whooping. 30 percent of its profits, top 2 percent contributing 30 percent of the profits. Generally speaking, heavy users who buy more frequently and in large volumes are more, pro more profitable than occasional users. Ironically, it is often the firm that are highly focused and selective in their customers acquisition rather, rather than those that focus on unbranded acquisition that are growing fast over long period. So, you see that highly focused and selective uh, organizations they are growing more over longer periods. Service customers who buy strictly based on lowest price 
who are in a minority in most markets are not good target customers for relationship marketing in the first place. So, those people although they are in a minority, but those who are looking at the lowest price, they may not be uh, the right kind of customers for building relationships. They are deal prone continu continuously seeking the lowest price on offer and switch brand easily. So, as soon as another brand it comes up with a deal. These customers they will shift to the uh, to the uh, to another brand, so there is no point in uh, in uh, in keeping those those customers and and uh, building relationship with these kind of customers. Different segments offer different value for a service firm. Like investments, some types of customers may be more profitable than others in the short term, but others may be may have greater potential for the long term. So now you see that there are different segments and each segment will be of different kind of value to the firm. Some segments are profitable in the short term so, and some segments are profitable in the long term. Similarly, the spending pattern of some customers may be stable over time while others may be more cyclical. For example, spending heavily in boom times but cutting back sharply in recessions. So, some people, some segments they they may uh, they may make purchases which are stable over time while there are some customers who are more cyclical in nature so these segments there are some segments which are more profitable and some segments which are less profitable there are some customers who buy on a regular basis uh, some customers who have uh, cyclical purchase patterns so the, the that is why different segments offer different value for the service firm a wise marketer seeks a mix of segment in order to reduce the risk associated with volatility in demand. So, the company wants all types of customers, those who buy continuously or whose buying patterns are stable over a period of time and those customers who buy more during, uh, uh, during expansion and less during recession. So, marketing is about getting better business, not just more business. For instance, the caliber of a professional firm is measured by the type of client it serves and the nature of the task on which it works. Volume alone is no measure of excellence, sustainability or profitability. Finally, manage, managers should not assume that the right customers are always big spenders. So, th that is important. Only big spenders are not the right customers. Depending on the service business model, the right customer may come from a large group of people that no other supplier is doing a good job of servicing. Many firms have built successful strategies on serving customer segments that had been neglected by established players which did not see them as being valuable enough. So, now every, every service company should be clear about what kind of customers they are targeting and one, uh, one customer, one type of customer may be right kind of customer for one service company, but not the other. So, there are several kinds of customers who are uh, uh, who are uh, who may be available and who are not being currently served by any company so the examples for that includes enterprise rent a car which targets customers who need a temporary replacement car it avoided the more traditional segment of business travelers targeted by their principal competitors so the principal competitors they were they were targeting the business tra uh, business travelers and this enterprise rent a car they they started targeting customers who need a temporary replacement car so to conclude in this module we understood the importance of customer loyalty in driving a service firm's profitability that is the first thing the second we also have in touched upon how the lifetime value of a loyal customer is calculated Next, we uncovered the reasons as to why customers are loyal to a particular service firms and then we have talked about the wheel of loyalty. Under its first strategy of appreciating why it is essential to target the right customers, we cover two sub themes. For example, target the right customers and search for value, not the volume. So, these are the two important things. So, in the next module, we will start with the next sub theme that is manage the customer base through effective tiering of service. These are the three books from which the material for this module was taken. Thank you.